Anyway, shoot, why did I just get my house? I'm soaking wet. Ah, didn't go change them. I just went outside to go and look at the snow. And while I was looking at it, I wasn't thinking about my house shoes, which are now soaking wet. However, I think I'm going to leave the door open. Good morning. Happy Vlogmas. I can't believe that I've woken to snow this morning. It is coming full force down. It's not those big fluffy snowflakes that I love, but I do love this too. This is more like snowstorm, fast wind, small snowflakes. And the forecast seems to stay quite cold. I don't think it's going to get above one degree today, which is very exciting. And it looks like it's supposed to snow all week. So I'm going to sit here in my studio and do my work at my table here. I have a lot of labeling to do and packing and coffee drinking and a little bit of knitting, which is how I started my day and uh, just enjoy looking at the snow. Good morning, everybody. And welcome to the Homespun House Vlogmas. It's the 1st of December, the first Vlogmas day and yeah, it was not that easy and it took a lot of convincing, convincing, but we have ordered a little surprise for you. Look at that, everybody. Ba, 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 ba. Yes, we got snow today. Hallelujah. Look at that. I don't know if Polly enjoys it so much. She's going party right now. I did not park in our garage last night. I have no idea why, actually. This morning when I came out to the car and had to shovel it, shovel all the snow, the snow, the snow off, I was like, why didn't I do this? And Molly is trying to escape, I just realized. First of December, Molly said, we have to have Christmas tree. I'm packaging up Christmas at Hogwarts right now. And I found these really fun red and pink, oop, I don't wanna show you the label, red and pink uh, lightning bolt bags. And so I thought these would be so perfect for our Christmas at Hogwarts bags. I hope that you guys love those too. And then I found just some Merry Christmas black and gold stickers. I thought those packed, those fit really well with the Harry Potter Christmas at Hogwarts theme. So I love these. And I also think it will be fun because you guys will know that it's your Harry Potter yarn. I've ordered a lot of these bags so that not just even for Christmas, I know that they're red and pink, but usually our mailers are pink. So I think that this fits really well for Return to Hogwarts, Christmas at Hogwarts, Halloween at Hogwarts, for all of those bags. So from now on, you guys will be getting your Harry Potter yarn clubs in lightning bolt bags.
it is starting to get dark outside and I think it is going to be fully dark in about 20 minutes and we have got so much snow. I know that that's hard to believe that it's going to be dark um, because it looks so bright in here, but it will. We're going to have pitch blackness usually around about 4.15 or so. I'm all finished with my studio work, with my work today. I did not do any dyeing, which I had in store today, but I packaged orders, I photographed a little bit of yarn, and I labeled some yarn. All of the yarn for the kits for the shop, let me just share those with you quick. So I have put in some more Otanenbaum kits for the shop. This is for just a beautiful, mug rug that i've shared on my instagram this is a pattern by margaret of heidi and lana and i love it i thought that i should make some kits to go um to go along with it because it's such a fun knit and i wanted some for my home so i knit one in this color and then i knit one in this color and you could get a third mug rug if you striped our copper and antique together and you still will have a little bit of the green wild wood and then our um, oatmeal leftover for using it for whatever you want, a cozy memories, blanket you're knitting on. So that's a lot of fun. We have that Otanen, Tannenbaum kit in our shop. And then we have Mrs. Claus's Christmas Kitchen. This is a minis collection we have in our shop. And you get to choose if you'd like it on gold Stellina, which I think is perfect for Christmas or our plump merino base. And then we have our kit for our cozy Christmas blanket. And this is the same colors as Mrs. Claus's Christmas Kitchen, just in 100% um, superwash merino boucle. So that's a really fun yarn to knit with. It's it feels very light. I mean, even though one skein is 100 grams, 240 meters, and I think it's about 245, 250 yards uh, per skein. And I'm so happy to have these in the shop. We have a few options where you can get some needle stoppers for your needles, because if you are knitting a blanket, you're going to want to put those needle stopper stoppers on when you're not knitting on it. We have quite a bit of new winter and Christmas themed colorways in the shop right now. And so many more Christmas colorways, holiday colorways, winter colorways will be speckling in pretty much every week for a while now. So I hope you guys are as excited as I am. I'm just so inspired as Advent, Christmas, winter is my favorite time of year. I'm inspired by everything and I feel like I cannot dye colorways as quick as they're coming into my mind. Anyway, I'm going to head upstairs now. The girls should be home very soon from physical therapy. And uh, for those of you who don't know, Ruby goes for her Achilles. She has a shortened Achilles tendon and Elodie goes for her knee. Both of them play a lot of sports four days a week. Elodie is very, very tall, growing very fast, so she has a lot of problems with her knee right now. Anyway, so that's what they go to physical therapy for, and I want to get all of this listed to the web shop, so let's head up into the winter garden where I can be surrounded by windows and looking out at all of the snow. Not in the winter garden. <laughs> I saw Robert turned on the tree in here, and so I decided to come into the living room. I can still see the snow out here too. We have a big window here. We have one over here, which you can't see over here and behind me. My sourdough bread I've left out for three days and I have no idea if it's redeemable. So I'm just going to try it. I'll bake it, we'll try it and see. I know that you can leave sourdough out for a while. It doesn't smell rancid at all, so. While I'm at it, I definitely should feed my starter because it smells quite sour.
Wow, this sourdough, it does not look promising here. It is like pure goo here. This is gonna be very, very interesting. I think there's just too much alcohol. It's fermented way too much. It's just, it's too hungry. It's a problem. I've never had that happen before. So we just bought new shoes, new winter boots for Ruby and a new winter jacket. And we're inside the city and the Christmas lights are already up. So today is the first day of the Christmas market here in Leipzig. And but we don't have time for that. Um, we have to get something to eat for tonight and then we have to get up, uh, we have to pick up Elodie from practice. So yeah, we had a nice time in the store. We found nice warm boots and a warm jacket. It, Ruby is growing like crazy and and that was our afternoon. So now we have to go. Christmas market opened today. There you see it. So we just picked up Elodie from practice, Ruby and I did. Um, we got some not for dinner. Yep. And yeah, we are about to drive home here yeah, we just passed uh, the Christmas market and we are home in a couple minutes so good evening sitting at the fireplace right now winding down with Polly on my lap and I am doing a little bit of knitting. Now Robert is bringing the girls to bed right now and I'm working on something for their advent so I don't really want them to know because they can hear me but I'm knitting a pair of leg warmers for them. I have knit Elodie's pair. I am using a DK weight superwash 100% BFL yarn. This is not yarn that we have in the shop. It's yarn that I specifically dyed for my girls. You can hear our cat Neil meowing like crazy because Robert has just finished bringing the girls to bed it sounds like and is going downstairs to feed him <laughs> and he's very very chatty. So I have finished Elodie's. I cast on 60 stitches for these. I knit 10 rows, which was five grams. Then knit 40 grams of the leg, the remaining five grams for the final cuff. And that gave me exact 
100 grams of that skein of yarn. I have none left. Everything left is in the ends of the yarn. I am doing the same exact thing with Ruby's pair. So this is a 2.5 or three millimeter needle. And I'm almost finished with the second one. I cannot wait because I think I'll be able to finish them tonight, which means that I can block them tomorrow morning. Anyway, it's really, really fun to knit on these. I know that they're going to love wearing them. And uh, it's the perfect time now because it is so chilly outside, as I've mentioned a few times. We have snow and um, it will be perfect to keep the girls' legs warm. So I'm going to sit here and knit a little bit until Robert comes up from feeding Neil and we can hang out a little bit. You guys have seen this angle a lot today, right? 